Well, I am finally out on the rivers. I was planning on commencing my river, fi river fishing. As you can tell, I've got a very hoarse voice still from having norovirus. Or norovirus. Real bad amount of vomiting and diarrhea. So it's left me very hoarse. I've only just got over it. I had planned to start my river fishing in August. Uh, first week of August, and I didn't go to plan as I ended up catching this violence and vile stomach bug. But I've decided to come out today, got my to try and ease myself back in, get my energy levels back up to where they should be, and just come out. It's around 2 p.m. Decided to come out and do some float fishing with a stick floating pin on a lovely bit of river behind me, quite overgrown. But what I'm going to do, I've got my chest waders on, going to hop into the river and going to trot the float, stick floating pin. Nice, cheap and cheerful centre pin this. Um, this is sold by a company called Cyprinus. Cheap centre pin, as I say, very smooth running though. Three pound line. The rod itself is a marsh free, Shakespeare marsh free. Very fast action tip and responsive action for striking and playing fish. Now, bait wise, keeping it very simple today, got maggots and bread. So bread flake, some loose fed maggots, see if we can pick up a few chub, dace, gudgeon, whatever's about. Just nice to be back out. As I say, going to fish on until I can't see the float anymore. So get a few hours fishing in it at least. Got with me the following. And that is a what I've made myself actually, or converted myself. This is actually an old bed chair organizer, what you would have for your carp fishing. So an old bed chair organizer, and I put a strap on it and to turn it into a roving pouch. Because I always felt, you know, with the likes of Drennan or ESPs, roving pouches, they give you your room for your maggots, but not much else. You get a maggot catapult, maybe another small tub in there. But with this, all I've done, I took the plastic rod out of it. So you've got a plastic rod that allows it to sit at the bottom of your bed chair as an organiser. Taken the plastic rod out, then stitched the end up, and just added a strap so I can wear it round my waist, or just over my shoulder like a little knapsack. It's really good, much better than most roving pouches, really. And this, I mean, most tackle producers or manufacturers, they make all different types of these. And this one's a Maver. And I tell you what, I got it off of Sports Direct about two years ago, and it was reduced to £2.50. So £2.50, and it just took me a little bit of time to add a strap on the back to wear it round my waist and convert it into a roving bait pouch. So, as you can see, also a nice hard case for your sunglasses as well, which is brilliant. But in there today, I've got my floats, so they don't get crushed. I've got bread, maggots. That's the sum of it. Going to be doing some trotting, and hopefully we'll pick up a fish or two, whatever comes my way. Now, I was going to bring a keep net with me, but I've got to be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of keep nets. So I'm just going to be catching and releasing the fish straight away. River's running quite low, looks quite clear, and it's a nice amount of summertime streamer weed looks perfect for a fish or two anyway i'm not going to bore you anymore with my that's you know with any of my setup that's exactly all it is just keeping it nice and simple got my center pin nice stick float got it bulk shotted then with a few little shirt button split shot further down shirt button style and a size 16 hook so going to be running the float through a couple of the glides i might only fish this area today um, as it's only going to be like three hours to maybe four hours fishing so might just stick in this one area but yeah ever hopeful some nice fish lovely setting very jungly like you know how I like my fishing guys nice and overgrown and peaceful so yeah fingers crossed for a fish or two let's crack on
There we go. Oops, that's me. That's a lively soul. Just lost a roach, slip the hook. And a nice looking chub. This is what I was hoping to come down, pick up quite a few nice bites, and just enjoy time stood in the middle of a river and enjoy myself. Look at that. Lovely condition, young chebbing. Very nice too. I see me thinking to myself that maybe I should have bought a keep net perhaps. So. A little roach. Nice condition. Very, very bright orange eyed as you can see. But yeah, brilliant. I should be getting a few bites straight away. My shotting pattern, I hope I can stop catching the brambles. My shotting pattern is very simple. I've got two lots of bulk shot with this float in particular. One around about four and a half inches underneath. Next lot around about eight inches below. And then one single dropper just to help give a nice consistent movement to the bait as it's going through the swim. Just not, what's nice with the pin is you can really control and mend the line which is what you want to be doing you want to be mending the line well controlling it well you don't want any unnatural drag which is going to put the fish off it's going to make them think you know the free offerings look natural but by heck that hook bait doesn't look very natural to me but yeah let's crack on see if we can get a few more i'm already really enjoying this Juvenile chub. Two one game, plenty of plenty of action, plenty of bites. But a little bit rusty on my striking, I can tell you that. Wondered how long it would be before Senor Stripey or Senorita Stripey would put in an appearance. Lovely condition, little perker.
of a juvenile Chev. Very nice condition. young chevin I'll tell you what has happened As you can see the locking nuts come off my centre pin and it went into the river and I've had a little look about below me I can't find it so I'm going to have to find something to screw in there when I get home it's never a dull moment is there it's my own fault because I untensioned it a little bit too far Another nicely performed, perform, perform, I don't know why I said performed, no, another nicely, oh, I've gone blank, another nicely formed roach, beautiful red thing, lovely red eyes, beautiful. Now the reason why I'm fishing this bank from this bank to the opposite bank where I got into the river is because it's, it's shallower this side, isn't it? drops off into a nice gully running right along this little arch it's perfect it's better to approach it from this side Another nice looking roach. Nice shoals of these along here. Nice to get them going on bread to be honest as well. But they're certainly picking up the maggots. Very nice too. Very nice. Little red fin. Or as the French call them, Gardon. Percheur pour la Gardon. Percheur pour la Chevine, <laughs> la Gardon, Tonche, et la Pardou. You always, you always learn your languages faster on topics that you really enjoy. I know I learned a lot of my French from being interested in fishing.
another small chub. Getting plenty of bites in between turning the camera on and off at times. So I've left it rolling for a little while now. Decided to might move down in a bit. A nice run down there, a nice tree, a bush in the water as well. Really nice looking. Just down there, nice sunken bush. Looks good. I've just been baiting up with a little bit of bread, switched the flake, missed a couple of fast bites, then went back to maggots. Look at that. Now that's a nice looking roach, isn't it? Very nice too. Nice stocky looking fish. Pristine green and silver sheen to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Really enjoyable. Keep getting some very fast bites just off the end of this weed bed in front of me, just opening, um, trotting the float through the um, gate in between the two weed beds and the margin. And getting some really good bites there as well, but also getting bites just off of this sunken tree. Lovely holding zone for fish looking to tuck in and hide away. Oh yeah, how glorious is that? Very nice too. Lovely. Another nice looking roach. Just getting quite a few, as I say, quite a few bites along this run on the opposite margin. Lovely, pristine condition again. Very, very enjoyable. An angler's soul food, you might call it. Pike chasing this fish. It's a little bit soft here. Bank's been a bit eroded. I should I say it's not a mud flap. Oh. There you go. Another nice looking roach. Very nice too. And this one was being chased by a little jack pike. <laughs> should I just say a little jack pike? I don't know why I actually just said a little jack pike. Well, <laughs> I amaze myself at times. Being chased by a jack pike. And there we go. Lovely looking roach. Beautiful orange eyes. Very nice too.
Oh, look who it is, eh? Look who it is. Mrs. Gudgeon. <sighs> Lovely looking gonk. It's always a pleasure to see these. Tell you what, they are resplendent, aren't they? Tell you what, if they was three or four pounds in size, they would pull your rod in. Certainly pull your arm off. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? What a lovely looking gudgeon. Grabbed one of my fish. Ah. Oh, 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 there we go. Gone. Looks like the pike got a free meal. That didn't feel bad pike either. Ah. Cheeky Essex. Oh. Tell you what, that didn't feel a bad pike. It really didn't. very quiet since I had to hook that pike. I'm sure I say since that pike grabbed a roach, what looked like a plump roach. Well, excuse the um, water on the lens. Lovely plump redfin. Mrs. Pike tried to grab the towel just as I was playing it. Lovely condition. Beautiful, beautiful sheen to it. But yeah, Mrs. Pike did try to grab this fish. And you can see on the towel there. But yeah, I didn't didn't let it happen this time. Centre pin. Oops. And away it goes. <laughs> Centre pin fell off as well. The fitting because I've lost the locking nut. So yeah, it's been a bit of a faff at times keeping control whilst not having a locking nut on it but I'm sure I'll sort something out for it when I get home it's been really enjoyable though it's been quite quiet well, since I had the um, pike grab one of the um, smaller roach and it nearly happened again there just literally saw, saw it darting out there it's got to be a good low double and it, there's at least two as well one earlier that tried to grab a fish which was a jack and this one which got a nice plump roach earlier 
But yeah. Anyway, gonna drop some more bait in. It would have been nice to be able to go further downstream, but to be fair, the run's more suited to a link measure further downstream. But anyway, let's crack on, see if we can get a few more fish. Hopefully the pike won't take their commission. <laughs> Now, just as the sun's fading a little bit off the water and moving away and downstream, getting a few more bites now, not lots because of the pike activity, but this lovely looking perch, very, very welcome. Nice little scrapper as well. Good fun on the light tackle. And in pristine condition, like all the fish have been. Lovely. A little stripey. Lively little pristine conditioned perch. Nicely built, stocky youngster, nice looking little chop, very nice too. Bit of a, bit of a swim to play fishing with a 12 foot float rod though, it's quite tight. Let's slip this fish back upstream. How about that then? Just saw him take a small fish that I had on and I thought I'd let it go and let it happen. 
and then watched it, literally watched it devour it. And then the fish has slipped off, and I've helped him square in the lip. Or should I say she? A lovely looking summer perch. Got a bit of a knackered dorsal. Yeah, certainly a bit knackered. Got some life markings and bruises. But yeah, glorious, wonderful. Well, I'm almost packed up. Just got my landing net to pack up. Yeah, I decided, as I said, come out for these few hours, do some trotting on the centre pin and stick float. Been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Did get a little bit patchy there when the pike moved into the swim. There's nothing you can do about that, and it does generally happen when you're introducing some loose feed and fishing from the stick float. Can't odds it. They always come in and ambush your fish that you're targeting, which was the case. One of those fish where you saw me hook, that was a good low double, I'm telling you. Nice, nice, powerful scrap there, but obviously fishing light anyway, it bit me off. And it stole my roach. I'm not happy with <laughs> that. No, it's been really enjoyable. As I say, plenty of bites, plenty of fish, roach, chub, perch, gudgeon. It's been really, really nice to get out. And finally hit the rivers, which is what I intended to do a bit sooner had I not caught that nasty stomach bug virus. But yeah, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, got a slight leak in my waders which I'll need to repair when I get in but yeah it's been nice to be able to share it with you chaps and um, yeah if you have enjoyed the video do take time to consider giving it the thumbs up button a hearty click that would be very much appreciated and of course if you're willing to share it on your group pages your Facebook pages and on social media it's been always enjoyable having you chaps along and being able to share the videos of course via YouTube and the trips in general with you guys and if you're not subscribed there's a subscribe button there and a bell icon there if you click both you'll be kept 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 you'll be kept up to date <laughs> with all my new uploads and there's a good back catalogue of videos to peruse as well anyway before I get more tongue twisted or use the wrong words I will see you guys on another video. What I will do is I most likely upload this video um, because I want to give you some variety and um, I do normally like to keep my videos concurrent but as I say I'm probably going to upload this video and then there'll be some more Tench videos in due course as well. Anyway, wherever you're having a dangle, wherever you're wetting a line and enjoying your fishing, I'll see you on my next video. Take care.